In true sore loser fashion, Nicola Sturgeon announced the second ever, the second ever, once in a lifetime Scottish independence referendum. They're aiming to host the new vote as soon as 2023. So here's the deal, OK? Scotland is stronger within the union in terms of global relevance and economic strength. We share a deep, rich history of the UK's separate nations supporting one another, leaning on each other. So what's the point in going? Scotland has been ravaged by harshly, very much by, by Chairman Sturgeon, treating the Highlands like her own personal Covid gulag. So instead of fixing the mess, she and her merry band of nationalists, of course. Little Nicky, the world's best Elton John impersonator, has decided to blame England for all of her problems. The Scottish Conservative leader, Douglas Ross, said that the First Minister's priorities were, quote, all wrong, and she should instead focus on issues such as COVID recovery, closing the attainment gap. Oh, I don't know, maybe the fact that basically Scotland's got one of the Europe's worst ever drug and drink problems and all of the stuff that's going on over there. But that, to me, makes a lot more sense than trying to make a reasonable argument as to why all local businesses should flock to London. Joining me now is Scottish Conservative MSP Murdo Fraser. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Now, look, Murdo, forgive me. I'm starting to wonder whether or not the rest of the UK should vote to leave Scotland. I think if you look at the performance of certain SNP politicians like Ian Blackford in the House of Commons, they seem to be designed to rile up people uh, across the rest of the UK to such an extent that they say, take, take these people away from us. We've had enough of seeing them in Westminster. But I think in a more hard headed analysis, people will see if Scotland leaves the UK, uh, we lose uh, roughly uh, a third of the landmass of Great Britain, probably around half of our territorial waters. We lose the magnificent resource that is uh, Scottish fishing waters. We lose uh, the opportunities from uh, North Sea oil and gas, still there despite Nicola Sturgeon's best efforts. We lose the potential for renewable energy uh, from Scotland's uh, coasts. Uh, and in the North Sea and, and the Atlantic. We lose access to barrier-free trade for Scotch whisky and Scotch salmon, all these fantastic uh, exports, the opportunity to study at some of the world's greatest universities uh, in Scotland, and the joy of having uh, Scots uh, as part of the British uh, nation. Why would you want to throw that away? No, I understand. Although, I mean, I must say that some of the joy of having Scots as part of our nation occasionally is a bit lost to me when I drive down that motorway or up that motorway, I must say, and there's a lot of people there with the flags. I thought they were giving me a big hello and I started waving at them and flashing my, and then I just got the finger by a lot of them and I thought, oh, OK, fair enough. But